What's up YouTube, this is AP iPhone Help and I got a really really cool looking decal for my new iPad. Alrighty guys, so I ordered this decal from Amazon.com and um, it looks really really nice. It is a Superman decal for my iPad. Um, I already did unbox it or unenvelope it I guess you could say. So let's take a look at what came inside and I'll show you exactly how to put it on. Alrighty guys, so this is everything that came in here. This is pretty much the receipt, so I'm just going to have to take that away so you guys don't see where I live. Uh, it came with this really, really cool retro Apple logo. Um, that's a decal as well. I think I might put that on my MacBook, maybe my iPad, I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, it came with the application instructions. This is from iDecals by Amazon.com. So it is by Amazon, so you know you're getting a good deal here. Uh, the next is pretty much the 100% satisfaction guarantee. Uh, if you don't like what you get, you can basically just return it, and they will give you a full refund or give you a brand new uh, decal. And finally, here is the decal. Um, it's Superman. Looks really cool. Got the cutout Apple logo for the Apple logo there. And uh, that's pretty much it. It looks really, really cool, so we'll see exactly how to put it on. Alrighty, so I am actually going to be following the instructions. Uh, what you want, want to have is a microfiber cleaning cloth. Um, and you basically just want to make sure everything on the back is clean. So I do have to take this uh, sticker here off because as you can see, that definitely covers that sticker. So I want to take that off real quick. Alrighty, so once you do have all uh, everything off the back, you're going to want to clean it. <clears throat> and to do this, you might want to wipe it down a little bit with a wet paper towel. Uh, not too wet, because you don't want to ruin it, get it water damaged. Um, but that sticker is, ooh, it left a mark, real big mark. So I'm going to have to go get a wet paper towel and probably clean it with that, because it looks like it's not going to come off that easily. So once you make sure your entire iPad is completely clean, uh, make sure that, I mean, I just cleaned my iPad and I don't know if you can see all the dirt, but you can see there's definitely a lot of uh, dirt there. Then you're going to want to lift the sticker up and peel the white paper backing off of the sticker. So if you can see here, there's a sticker right there. You're going to want to take that off of the white paper backing. And then when you're done with that, you just want to line it up perfectly onto the Apple sticker. Uh, that's basically going to be your, your focal point. Then when you have it down, you're going to Lower the sticker and rub it into place firmly with a credit card or something similar. So I just have my giant card here. You're just going to want to rub everything in here. Um, everything. Make sure all of the black, so that way there's none of that bubbly stuff. Uh, that's what they want. They want to get out all the bubbles. If you can hear it, you can hear all the bubbles going. This is probably, to be honest, the absolute most important part of this procedure is getting all of this out of here. So you want to make sure this is all the way around. So just make sure you push every single bubble out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to wait a second and you're going to peel this, or a couple minutes to be honest, and you're going to peel this off. You just want to make sure that that is firmly on there, and you're going to peel this, uh, uh, it's like a plasticky cover off, and then that's it. So we'll wait like five minutes, and I'll come back to it. Alrighty, guys, and once uh, you wait a little bit, what you're going to want to do, and I know you can see there are a few uh, bubbles there, but what you're going to do is you're just going to slowly peel this off. And you just want to get your finger in here and just hold it down and kind of rub it down as you're peeling. And peel very, 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 very slowly. All 
Alrighty, so when you do get to the last and final, thank goodness, I, <laughs> final parts, um, it is, I mean, it, it is a hard, um, hard to do installation, but once you get to all these final parts here, uh, it does get pretty easy, um, and if you do notice, I cut all of this off. Um, I would go get scissors and cut as you go. That way it does not come back on and stick. Um, because this plastic part, these plastic is ridiculous. Um, it's ridiculously sticky and makes it a ridiculously difficult um, installation here process. So if you take that off, or cut that off as you go, it does actually make it a lot easier. I'll show you what I mean to do, because then it doesn't go back on and stick. There we go. That is pretty much the whole installation process of how to get this. Now this did take me roughly about a half an hour to get this on here. Um, and there are, I mean, real, real, real tiny parts that I just could not figure out how to get it to stick on here and stay. So I was just like, oh well, it doesn't even matter. It does look pretty cool. You have Superman there unleashing the Apple logo. Uh, and that is the Apple logo of the iPad, so that will definitely not come off because it is the iPad. I do love the glasses, although they are very, very, very difficult to get. And same with the tie over here. That is another part that is very, 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 very difficult and tedious. So that's basically it, guys, for the installation of my brand new iPad decal. Alrighty, YouTube, that was the new iPad decal. Uh, this works for the iPad 2 as well. And I think it does actually work for the old, like the first iPad, the original one. Um, after you get that on there, I would recommend you just letting it sit for about an hour just so it soaks in and it doesn't get ruined. Uh, because there are, like I said, a lot of small pieces that you... I mean, they just rip off very, very easily. If you do put it on 100% correctly, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, this is very, very difficult to do, so I would recommend that you do have a lot of patience with it, but the After Effect looks really, really cool, um, and I mean, your iPad will be one of a kind. But that's basically it, guys. If you subscribe up there, you can see all the rest of my videos I post every week. And hit that like button if you like this look here. Comment in the video. Tell me what I could have done better. And uh, that's basically it, guys. So I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.